What's up everybody, it's Roman Gaming here. So I wanted to make a really quick video on an article that I read over the past week that slightly bothered me and I'll explain you why that is. The article came from Eurogamer, some of you may know that uh, dedicated video game website, and it was titled Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection is more than just a remaster. And I have to be very honest with you, upon reading that title, I kind of facepalmed, I kind of went like, are you for real? Is this seriously happening here? Um, because it pretty much goes in depth on all the changes that have been made from the old versions on the PlayStation 3 compared to, you know, the newer remastered collection on the PlayStation 4. And uh, it actually started off with the, with the question, at what point does a remaster become a remake? And once again, I kind of facebombed. I just went like, are even big video game websites like Eurogamer just completely bringing these sorts of things out of proportions like fanboys or just, yeah, people like that do normally because there is no reason for me at all to believe that Uncharted the Nathan and Drake Collection should be seen as a remake in any way. And um, you have to be, you have to realize, of course, that I'm a giant Uncharted fan. You all know that, and I can't wait to play the Nathan Drake Collection. It's gonna be awesome. But that being said, I just kind of always get a problem with people just uh, completely overhyping something where it's just not justified because everything about this collection screams remaster to me. And I'm gonna explain to you why that is. Um, and it's basically, you know, of course, because they are literally the same games. If you compare the trailer to the old footage on the PlayStation 3, as I said, there are more detailed textures. Uh, Bluepoint Games, who are doing a hell of a great job with this one, are replacing character models, for example. Drake looks different in Uncharted 1 than he did, uh, or it looks different now in the PS4 version than he did in, in the PlayStation 3 version, for sure, and it looks way better. Um, that being said, of course, it all plays in 1080p, 60 frames per second, the usual stuff, and that's awesome, but that is not in any way a remake. What a re remake to me is, the difference for me between a remaster and a remake is that a remake you can still recommend to anybody who did play the original. That's the way I feel about it, because look, um, a game like Final Fantasy VII, which many people see as one of the best games ever made, I'm pretty sure that was a PlayStation 1 game, right? I personally never played it, but it's now being remade for the, for the PlayStation 4, and you will see that's a remake, and the reason why is because they're pretty much going to build it again from the ground up, and when you visit one of these locations, in the game, you're going to be completely blown away, and you know you might, uh, re you know you might recognize the the locations, and you might still know the story. But that being said, everything around you will be kind of mind blowing because you know. Yeah, you recognize it, but it's not as you imagined it, or it's just not the same. It's going to be completely different in that way. Uh, the Nathan Drake collection here are going to be literally the same games that you know, just looking slightly better with a with an upgraded resolution in 60 frames, and with some of these things being slightly redone, like higher quality textures and character models that look a little, um, you know, a little more detailed, a little different, and that's awesome. But it's not in any way a remake. And I got to tell you, when I played Metal Gear Solid 4 recently, because I went through the whole series. Um, I had the exact same experience there, you know, because I don't want to really spoil it, but you kind of return to an area from Metal Gear Solid 1. Um, and yeah, you know, Metal Gear Solid 1 came out on the PS1, Metal Gear Solid 4 on the PlayStation 3, and they kind of completely redid one area, and you're just being completely blown away there. And you're like, I can't, I can't, it's just hard to realize that this is the same place that I went to or that I visited on the PS1. It looks so different now seeing it more realistic in that way, right? Um, and that's just my whole thing, is that Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection is going to be an awesome remaster, but it's going to be nothing more than that. It's a remaster at its core, just like, you know, The Last of Us Remaster, just like GTA 5 on the PS4. It's the same games looking slightly better. And that's why, you know, I want to make it very clear, me being so excited for this, I still say to anybody who, you know, asks me, ask me the question like, Robin, should I get this remaster? Should I get it for the PS4? Because I still have access to the PlayStation 3 versions, and I'm not really quite sure I don't have a lot of money or something, I'd rather invest it into new games, but I'm also really an Uncharted fan. What do you think, Robin? I always say um, just buy, buy a new game or something. There is no reason to get this one unless you simply want to replay the games looking slightly better on the PS4. Uh, and apart from that, it's not going to be mind-blowing in any way. Yes, they're adding a couple of new modes, like uh, uh, different difficulties pretty much, and also a speedrun mode where a timer gets added. That's all cool, but it's, it's nothing really crazy or something like that. Um, it'll be exactly what you know from the PlayStation 3 versions again on the PS4 and even without the multiplayer so you know in that way buy the collection if you have the money for it and if you're really excited to play these games again looking slightly better on the PS4 but that being said don't expect anything out of the ordinary
there. I don't expect anything um, like this being more a remake than a remaster because sites like Eurogamer here publishing these articles, it goes beyond me. I just don't understand why they're doing it because to me that's just complete fanboy talk and I don't think it's really justified. That being said, still can't wait for the Nathan Drake collection. It's coming out in one and a half months and you can surely expect me to do full coverage on that and uh, making a lot of videos on it for sure. So with that being said, of course, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments. You can read the article. It's linked in the description. And for now, I'd like to thank you a lot for watching. Hope to see you again next time.